Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today the paper we're going to see is 2023 June 22 and we're going to look into task 4 presentation. Okay, let's begin. You're going to create a short presentation. So for that we need PowerPoint and it's going to be a blank presentation. Let's save this file first. Let's save it in our work area. So our work area is going to be the folder that has been provided. So it's 2, 2 and working on. So let's name it with center number followed by our candidate number. Save. Okay, now let's begin with the task. Create a presentation of six slides using the file J2322VC World. Okay, let's import this file, new slide, slides from outline. Mm, it's 222 and it's J2322VC World. Insert. We are supposed to have six, but here we have seven slides. Delete off the first slide because it's empty. So now we have six slides. Okay. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and bulleted list. So no changes if no instructions are given to make changes. In the header, place in the header automated slide number left aligned. Okay. This has to be repeated on all the slides. So we'll do it in the master slide. View tab, slide master. Scroll up to the first slide. Okay, now resize the hashtag. Move it to the top left. So the header, top left. Move it to the top left. We don't need the date here. And the footer, it is supposed to be left aligned as well. Your name, center number candidate number on the left. Okay, so let's insert the data here, insert tab, header and footer. Check the slide number and footer. Okay, now type in the footer, your name, center number, followed by your candidate number, apply to all. Okay, so that's done. Slide master, close the master view so that it appears on all the slides. Yes, it does. Next, use the data in the file J2322Apps. Open the file. J2322Apps. Okay, we have the file here and the records then okay now we are supposed to create a vertical bar chart to show the number of downloads for each app this chart must display only the app title and downloads okay so the app title is here and then hold the control key and highlight downloads Okay, just these two fields are supposed to be there on the chart. Okay, now let's create a chart, insert recommended charts. It's a vertical bar chart we need. So choose a vertical bar chart, click OK, we got the chart there. And then do not display a legend. A legend should not be displayed. Let's label the chart. The chart title, Top Fitness App Downloads 2022. Okay. Top Fitness App Downloads 2022. And then value access title, million. So you just need the value axis. Click on the chart elements. Move the cursor to axis titles. Click on the arrow there. You will choose the primary vertical. That gives you the value axis title. Okay. 
So here the value axis title change it to million. And next display only the data values along the top of each bar. So click on chart elements again and tick data labels. Next format the value axis scale to display these requirements. Value axis you're supposed to format it. Right click on it. Format axis. There you have it. Okay minimum. Minimum is supposed to be 0. Maximum 15. Minimum is 0. Maximum set it to be 15. And then increments of 3. Increments is unit major. Set it to be 3. Okay, so minimum is 0, maximum 15, major 3. So we're done with that. Next, place the chart. Okay, now copy the chart. Open PowerPoint. So you're supposed to place the chart to the left of the bullet of the slide with the title Virtual Cycling Trends. Virtual Cycling Trends. Okay, here on the left of the bullets. So move the content to the right, paste the chart here on the left. Move the chart to the left and then enlarge the chart if it is not clearly visible. So make sure no word in the chart are split. All the data must be fully visible and the chart and its content must not overlap. On the slide with the title, virtual cycling trends okay virtual cycling trends is this slide create a square shaped action button okay you're supposed to create a square shaped action button i mean yeah it's a square shaped action button so go to insert shape at the bottom you have action buttons so from there you pick a square shape action button and draw this action button position this in the top right corner so draw an action button on the top right corner okay you get the action button settings here now here you are supposed to format the action button so that when clicked that is when you click on it so set the settings to be mouse click okay when clicked, it opens the document with the file name Trends. Okay, that is basically you are creating a hyperlink. That is when you click on this button, it opens a new file. So click hyperlink to, choose hyperlink to and from the list, you choose other file. Because you are setting the link to another file, J2322 Trends. So from the list, Choose other files and go to your folder and find for J2322 trends. Click OK. So it gets attached here. And you're supposed to provide a screenshot of this uh, settings for the action button. So take a screenshot of this and paste it in your evidence click ok here paste this in your evidence okay and then come back to powerpoint so we are done with that now here enter the text top fitness trends as text on the action button okay change the text edit text right click edit text and type top fitness trend trends yeah trends okay now basically what happens is when it is on a slideshow when you click on when you hover over it becomes a hyperlink you see it enables you to click on it okay the cursor changes to a hand so you click on it it opens another file okay so our link is working now moving on to Next step, set the slideshow so it loops continuously on screen. Okay, so go to the slideshow window, set up slideshow and show option, set it to be loop continuously until escape and set it to be all. Okay, 
So take a screenshot. This also you will have to provide a screenshot. Okay, take a screenshot of this. Click OK and then paste this in your evidence. And then come back here. Okay, so that is done. We have to save the file. Now next is save the presentation and print all the slide as handouts in portrait orientation with three slides to the page. So let's print, I'll show you how to print. File print all slides. It's all slides, uh, all the slides. And the page setup, change it to three slides. So it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so three slides in a page. That's one printout. So once done, you will print. Now next is print the slide with the title Virtual Cycling Trends as a full page slide in the landscape orientation. So Virtual Cycling Trends, this. It's slide three. File, print, choose current slide or type the slide number, change the layout to full page and print this. Choose the correct printer and print. Okay. And finally, you will have to print your evidence as well. So save your evidence and print your evidence. Okay, make sure there are no widows or orphans. Okay, and that's the end of the paper. I hope that was helpful. See you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.